Have you said your private prayer to the Lord this morning? You know, it is always a good thing to start your day praying to God all by yourself with no one to disturb you and not allowing your busy schedule ahead or the responsibilities you have to take on for the day to distract you. For the first 5, 10, 15, or even 30 minutes of your day, it is just you and the Lord. Alam mo, gusto ng Panginoon yun. The Lord likes that very much when you talk to Him in private, in, in secret even. You know why? Because that is when your heart is truly seeking out God. I'm sure all of us participate in public prayers. We, we go to church and we pray with everyone else. We attend events and we are asked to pray at the start. And we do that along with everybody else attending the event. We join a prayer meeting and we willingly pray with the group. So we stand up, clasp our hands, close our eyes, and follow along. But we do know we can do all that and not really be praying at all. Our hearts may not be into it. Our minds may be thinking of other things and uh, we're not really praying. We may be going through our long list of things to do or thinking about the bills piling up or about a loved one who is not with you and perhaps you are worried about that person. I have a tip for you. Why don't you turn whatever you're thinking of into a private prayer to God? The Lord Jesus himself taught his disciples how to pray. If you have a Bible, read this passage in the Gospel according to Matthew where the Lord said, But when you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. God sees everything in secret. God knows what is truly in your heart. And when you pray in private, there is no pretense involved. You come to the Lord in prayer just as you are. And He will listen to you. And as the Lord Himself promised, if you come to God in prayer in private, God will reward you. As we learn to get closer to God in prayer, coming to His presence just as we are when we are alone, just as Jesus taught us to do, may we always keep in mind, faith matters too.